concerned uh, father Chris from Fargo, North Dakota, says okay, that his four-year-old okay. son has been behaving very strangely. He says that over the last three or four days, the child has said that he just doesn't want to go in the bedroom because he <laughs> says, quote, there is a monster in there. And he doesn't want to do his homework or go back to school tomorrow. Hmm, yes, very strange. Obviously, Chris just dismissed these claims as a child's overactive imagination. Ah, uh, yes. But one then, way. one night at around 2 a.m., the boy is fast asleep in bed when something happens that Chris and his wife simply can't explain. This is when something it gets devious. truly shocking. Oh my god. <laughs> uh oh. Glad they put that. boy cries out when he appears to get shoved out of bed by some invisible force. Chris says that his son oh, cried out in shock, hurt. but thankfully, the boy was okay and completely that's unharmed. A, that's Chris says that the previous scream. owner of their house passed away right in the living room, and he wonders if this tragic history has anything to do with what's happening to their son. Oh. That's kind of messed up. So you think that because somebody passed away in your house, that because they died, all of their morals and like all of their ethics just like left them as a human being and they're going to like harass some child that's laying down in a bed who's scared of a monster? Yeah, that's okay. I hope when I die, I'm not in your house of judgment. Hold the door. A woman named Nadine has been experiencing okay. <laughs> some very strange and unexplained events in her home in Alabama. That dog be ground. Oh, did y'all see the tweet about the Bluey, the, the grown woman who think, wants to make love to Bluey's dad in the show? There's nothing I can even say about that. That's just, I just want other people to feel my pain. Dogs do now, this all many the time. viewers believe that they can hear a voice whisper something after the dog barks that sounds like, lay over there. It's probably the owner saying, hey, go lay down. Stop messing. I don't know what that is. That kind of sounds like a bird. But what do you hear, if anything? As for Nadine, she says that she's a skeptic and doesn't really believe in ghosts at all. Hell yeah. But then one night, she's looking after her two-year-old daughter, Blake, and something happens that freaks her right out. Blakey, yeah, you okay? What's wrong with Blake? Do you want me to go open the door? What's wrong with El Bloque? Why? Oh. No? Okay. What? Okay, I, I'm i honestly freaking the f*** out and I don't know what to do. Just a couple minutes ago, I got up and I closed my door because she kept pointing to my room saying, Mommy, Mommy, someone's oh, over yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, that would mess me and, up too. And she was terrified. She, she, was, she was terrified. Of course, yeah. freaking me out. So I went over there and she just said, No, Mommy, come here. Come here, Mommy. Sit, sit, Mommy. Don't go over there. And so I called the dog and I closed my door. And as you can see... Dude, she's still terrified. She's still terrified. She doesn't want me going over there. She doesn't want me open the door. I am. Too it's your house, so just like open the door. She's like ten. She's like ten months old. Just open the door. Open the door. Look around. Give it a good check. Be like, there's nothing in there. What are you talking about? Take her in there with you. I don't know. Maybe this is where I'm like. Maybe we shouldn't have <laughs> technology in homes. Maybe we shouldn't be allowed to express ourselves. Maybe the TikTok ban should go to- Mommy's gonna go open the door, okay? I'll be right back. There you go. Yeah, okay. I was giving you shit it's for okay. you to do it anyway. But it is- Just take her with you. Thank you. I'll be right back. She ain't even paying attention. If she was so scared, why is she watching Blue's Clues or whatever she's watching? And now she's hiding her face. I don't know, she kind of just looks tired. Okay. Open 
the it's door. It's okay, baby. You're freaking me out. You're freaking me out. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, tell me I'm not... What do I do? Why are you asking me what to do? It, you're the you're the mom. I didn't have the baby. Little two-year-old Blake is terrified of something in Nadine's bedroom. So much so that Nadine has to close the door to calm her daughter down. So could it be that little Blake saw a supernatural entity? Or just what was scaring her? Let me know what you think. Tasha D and her husband move into an 1840s farmhouse in rural upstate New York. The happy couple begins to renovate their new home. But soon, Tasha begins to experience some very unsettling and unexplained events. These strange incidents only seem to occur when Tasha is home alone. So her husband is a bit skeptical. Yeah. So one day, a picture frame in the house inexplicably falls to the floor. He says Tasha she's grabs lying. her phone and starts to record in hopes of proving to her husband that something's just not quite right in the old farmhouse. See, and you think I'm crazy. The first time I'm here by myself, there's a picture on the floor and it just... But things soon start to get even weirder because the family dogs begin to act oh, really strange. So cute. Why are you running? Oh, did you got a pee? Did you got a pee? Did your puppy got a pee? What? What? Oh, what did you see? What did you see? You see the monster in the hallway. What you see? What? Dogs do that all the time. You gotta tell them to chill out. Another day, and Tasha is recording a candid video of her dogs to post to Snapchat. When this happens. Look at them. Destroying the living room over one toy. <laughs> Silly. This could be right after meta. posting the video to Snapchat, a worried friend reaches out to Tasha to warn her about what seems to be a strange shadow-like figure moving up the wall right beside her dogs. Tasha has no I mean, idea what the creepy shadow could be. I mean, it looks like natural lighting. So, I mean, the lamp's not on. Probably something walking. So she shares her story Car? to TikTok, hoping to find answers. The video soon grabbed the attention of millions of concerned TikTok viewers who wonder if Tasha might have awakened a paranormal presence by renovating the 108. Yeah, but why would it? Why? But why would a ghost care that you're renovating their house? It's how many acres? Eighty-year-old farmhouse. Like 100 acres. And then, one night, just after midnight. Someone rings Tasha's doorbell. When she checks the security camera, what she sees chills her to her core. Now, this would be scary. You're in the middle of nowhere. Somebody rings on your doorbell and you're like an hour away from civilization. Oh, hell no. I'm not answering that door. I don't even have a doorbell at that point. If you come up, you got to knock. Looks like somebody's in front of the light. A dark shadow can be seen moving towards the outside deck chair and appears nah. to just take a nah. seat. That's it then just... gets up, moves away towards the right, nah. and disappears. Absolutely not. So did Tasha and her family move into a haunted farmhouse? Could the renovations be upsetting a lingering paranormal presence, causing it to happen? Or is she just in the middle of nowhere while her husband's out at work and she's bored and wanted to do TikTok trends? Packed out. Hmm, which one's more likely? Hmm, let me put my thinking cap on. Let me know what you think. Imaginary friend. A woman from Oregon says that her young daughter claims that there is something living in their basement hiding in the storage area just underneath the stairs. 
Uh-oh. At first, of course, the mother dismisses these claims, Uh-oh. just thinking it's the little girl's overactive imagination. No, I'm checking but that, that same day, it. after hearing something strange coming from the basement, the mom decides to check the footage from their security camera. What she sees chills her to her core. This is the second time you've said chills her to her core. Stop saying that. That was a hand. That was a hand. That was a person. Did she wave? Did you see it? A small pale hand can be seen reaching out from under the stairs before just disappearing. That Even just creepier, both the child and the family cat seem to spot this bizarre apparition. The That's little girl even seems to wave at something that we can't see. That's a straight up person. Now, unfortunately, this video was shared to no, the internet cat. without a direct source. So we'll probably never know just what happened here. That's a person. That's a hand. So there's somebody living in there. You kidding me? Also, that cat is goaded. Just straight up walking up to it being like, what's up? What you doing in the house? Why are you down here? And the little girl is brave as hell. I'm going to be honest with you. Being able to just look at some random person underneath your stairwell and be like, oh, also, what a dirty stairwell. Clean it up. What are you doing? You live there. Reddit user No Recognition 1998 says that this video Figure. was caught on a trail Figure. cam 20 miles out into the Idaho woods in the middle of nowhere. Now, there is no reason that anyone would be this far out in these isolated woods at this time of night. You think people in Idaho so what got stuff to do? Is this? They're out there in the woods. That's a whole ass. That is a whole Someone ass or something walks past a forest trail cam at 4:37 in the morning. And it's a whole ass person. <laughs> That's a whole ass person just walking through Idaho. I, you think nothing's going on out there, but we've had enough forest fires due to meth explosions. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just, I, yeah, don't, don't, don't be mad at me. Hey, let's kill this guy. Let's, <laughs> let's kill this guy with hammers. <laughs> hey, let's record this girl. Let's record this girl at 4 a.m. on a trail in Idaho. In the middle of the woods. You're kind of the in creepy the one, right? Of nowhere. Who's setting the camera up out Curious there? Reddit viewers point out that this strange humanoid figure just looks kind of off they yeah. say it's perhaps not even human at all as it seems to have very no, pale skin human. thin frail arms and a long neck i think that's just like pixelated damage to the video because look at the legs you know look at the legs looks like a normal human torso that looks like a what would be a head if it wasn't distorted now is this a very lost and very strange person wandering around the remote woods of Idaho. Nope, they're doing perfectly fine. They know what they're doing. It's 4.30 in the morning. They're going on their jog. Or is it something else? I don't think I leave that else. for you to decide. All it takes Lurking is one person walking in the darkness. Through. Now, this next extremely popular video was suggested so much, probably close to a thousand times, there was really no choice but to feature it here on Nuke's Top 5. So... Dustin Frazier says that he works the night. Why does he? Why does? Why is he stand up like that? Why is? How is? Why is this how we enter the video? He looks like he's Luca about to drop like the nastiest three pointer for no reason. Shipped at an allegedly haunted hotel in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. One night, Dustin is recording a Snapchat video to send to his friend when something happens that makes his blood run cold. I just got to work and. Okay. I feel like, ugh, like all day today, I felt bad. Honestly, it's less like a little bit. I felt bad. And in there I don't here. know. I just, like, I feel like I need to go to the doctor, but like, I'm constantly just like nauseous. And I don't really know why. I don't know. Leading the reader. You're leading the reader a little bit too much there. You're, push, you're pushing me in a direction instead of letting me get there myself. You're talking about feeling nauseous, not feeling good, things following me around. You, you, too much, you're giving too much detail. This isn't going to be scary for me. Hey, like, I have tried to... That was a whole... You walked past a whole ass person right there. You cannot pretend. You cannot pretend you didn't know he was there. To like take medicine for it and stuff uh -huh. but 
I, yeah, I don't know. Working. It doesn't seem like it. And then there's slime oozing out of the walls. And then Nosferatu is flicking the lights on and off. It really does anything. Um, also, what are you doing? Are you, like, setting up this hotel, like, downstairs area? What are you doing? The, the, you, is this your do daily routine? You walk through every single door of the hotel frantically, turning lights on and off? That if you wanted to swing by um, and say, hey, like, you could... Oh, I can't see. Uh -huh. I also hate that they always keep this room so f***ing dark. Like, come on now. No, are you kidding me? Anyways. Is this like a horror movie where like the thing is like omnipotent and it can just follow you wherever? Yeah, if you wanted to swing by and say, hey, then... Like that one movie. What's it called? It it chases, it it walks. I can't remember. It's the thing. It follows you around. You know, I can't... Let's follow this guy. Let's follow this guy at night. Um, <laughs> you could. But... <laughs> I can't yeah, I'm just chilling. I can't Throughout stop. the video, strange voices and whispering can be heard. I felt bad. Honestly, it's less like a little bit. I tried to like take that thing. Um, and I also hate that they always keep this room so fucking dark. Like, come on. You ever felt like you don't see but the like, creepiest of all? Here? Something can be seen standing in the shadows just behind Dustin. Not oh, I once. didn't notice on the first watch. Wow, thank you for pointing that. I would have never saw the creepy guy standing up in the corner whenever he's posted up. Like, behind him, like, he's just following Luca around the court. <laughs> but twice, some dark figure with a distorted skeletal face. Oh, my God. Now, at the not... time I'm recording this story, this video has gained a massive audience of over 19 million viewers. Is this all you gotta do? I'm in the wrong business. Making it the most popular and most suggested video. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Epic rap battle of mystery. You decide. Who won? So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email thanks, us thanks, at nukestop5 at gmail.com. He's got the whole Caught industrial complex. Reddit user Justin says that he and his family recently bought and moved into a historic 1800s terrace house in London, England. But during renovations, Justin says his doorbell security camera caught something really creepy. Like what? Oh, he's just having a peek. He's just taking a little peeksy weeksy. He said, Hey, hey, my bother, my bother. I'm so sorry. I'm headed out. Oh, hold on. Maybe I can come back and take another peeksy week soon. Around 10 p.m. at night, someone or something can be seen quickly taking a peek what do you mean, at or Justin's something? front door. What else is built like that? That's built like a whole human. The same thing. It's the same distortion from the, the trail cam where it's like, oh, it looks like an alien because it's all... I'm only seeing half of the pixels that are on the screen, bro. What do you want me to do with that? What do you want me to do? Or then whoever or whatever it is appears to walk past the car in the driveway before disappearing. Why, why are you saying whatever it is? What else? Give me a suggestion. Appearing off camera. Now with the house's 200 year history, Justin is worried that his renovations might have triggered some paranormal presence to act out. But worried Reddit viewers warn Justin that he might be dealing with something even scarier. Why people be like, I'm gonna colonize an entire country 200 years later. <laughs> 200 years later. Hope the ghosts aren't gonna get me. <laughs> Bro. A trespassing stranger that is scoping out his house for unknown reasons. Unknown so is reasons? this a ghost? Or is this a very real and potentially dangerous person? Yeah. You decide. Uh, I don't know if he's dangerous. In fear. In this creepy video, a woman begins recording when her dog refuses to come back inside their house. The dog seems frozen in place and refuses to even look back at his owner as she calls to him. Typical dog stuff. Nigel, what, what are you is doing? that?
Bro, that looks like a zergling. <laughs> what are you talking? That's a. What, is that an armadillo? What am I looking at? What is the. What part of this is a dog? What? <laughs> oh, it looks like a little baneling, dude. What is, what is Look at his little legs. Bro, stop. What? Is, it also looks like a face right here. Like, this is an eyeball, and this is an eyeball, and that's the mouth. It's going. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Looks like a big ass hamster. Nigel. What? What am I looking at? This dog is like a Rorschach test, dude. I'm seeing different things every second I look at him. It looks like a big ass bunny now. I don't know what I'm looking at. Bro, that dog's the scariest thing in the video. <laughs> Stop. Oh, it's laying down. The dog appears to be frozen in fear as it stares at something behind a shed in their backyard. What was that? When the woman is? slowly looks around the corner, her heart almost stops as she sees two creepy glowing eyes staring right back at her. Now, the video abruptly ends here and was reposted to the internet by social media outlets that just don't bother to credit the source. So with no explanation, it's hard to say exactly what's going on here. But the dog's freaked out reaction said, mm -hmm. is strange. So just what do you think this dog is seeing looking back from the darkness? I don't know. Everyone said that Pop Punk is dead and... I don't know if everyone said that, but okay. A young woman in Japan claims that her grandmother kept a cursed photo album locked in one of her cupboards. The woman believes that her grandmother might have dabbled in dark magic, and that the cursed photo album and her grandmother's strange rituals might have led to her grandfather's strange, unexplained death 12 years earlier. Well, that's... Her grandfather allegedly took his own life inside the home. Okay, but the that's, circumstance... not, that's not a strange, unknown death. That's literally, it's in... I. Some of these are so cope, you know? Like, I, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not trying to be super dark, but that, that is a very dark premise. Like, you think your grandmother practiced witchcraft and wasn't just like... Do I go there? Do I go there? Mm... Yeah, maybe you should go to therapy. Senses were very suspicious. The young woman says that for her part, she once viewed the cursed album herself. Mm -hmm. but that she became seriously ill immediately afterwards. Those are kind of sick. Those are so sick. What the hell? These are like, you know how many musicians- Since then, the young that? woman's grandmother has passed away, but she is still afraid of the home and the creepy photo album. She asked anonymous paranormal investigator Conico to remove and destroy the album, warning him that everyone who views the photo album becomes ill and that some of her family even believes that okay, the cursed okay. album can possess the viewer. So she gets ill and then she, now she thinks that since she went ill, everybody who looks at it goes ill. That we, that we're missing context in this. We're missing some context. Does Has there been more people who have been introduced to this photo album and then go ill? Because I just looked at it, and if I have to call out of work tomorrow, I'm going to have somebody to be upset about. So Kaneko explores the old abandoned home and finds the album. But he too starts to become ill and is forced to quickly leave the house, okay. leaving behind both his phone and camera as he dashes out. If this is the house, it's probably because it's full of mold and like uh, things you shouldn't be breathing in. Tons of dust. Looks like they just left it in shambles. YouTube channel Fourth Wall is contacted and asked to retrieve Look, his equipment mask. and analyze the footage. Yeah, he's wearing what a What they find. Oh, dude, he's got the thing out. He's got the journal out in case it, it's a... And you're trying to figure out if it's a demon or not. And then... Do they... Where's it's the... downright chilling. Where's the Geiger counter? Holy... Recovered footage from a phone that was used as a static camera shows a portrait of the woman's late grandfather just 
falling to the floor for unknown reasons. I mean. But that's not all. Because Kaneko has actually recorded the moment he found and looked through the cursed photo album on camera. Something happens that Kaneko claims that he doesn't remember at all. Something terrifying. Okay. Shimi Masen. Shimi Masen. Why this? Why this name? I didn't hear him say anything in that one. Why do you jump scare me? Just read the book, dude. Open it up. Look at the book. It's also just like in a plastic binder, which kind of like... I don't know. That kind of like... To me, it makes it less scary. If you like opened it up and it was like a wooden like cover on it. Or like a leather bound cover. That would be crazy. Oh, that place is disgusting, dude. You probably feel sick because you're on the floor. Look at that. Thing ain't been vacuumed in years. For some reason, it's in a... Unknown reasons and then a st strange state of decay. I'll tell you this right now. The plastic they use to store these photos is adhesive. Like it has like a, it, it has like a stickiness to it. And that stickiness, that adhesive in the middle of the pages uh, is acidic and it ruins the photos and it warps the photos. This happens with a lot of older photo books. It still has the acidity within the pages. You really got to be careful about it because it could ruin your whole family's like uh, lineage of remembering your whole family lineage and stuff. Happens all the time. What? Noni? Gori wa noni. What is he freaking out about? Bro's straight up terrible at his job. Come here, right? What? This is like some Japanese indie horror film. Did you see it? Kaneko hears a strange sound coming from somewhere inside the house. But when he turns to look, someone can be seen kneeling behind the glass of a sliding door. It doesn't look like he's kneeling. It but like Kaneko says there was no one else inside that house with mm. him. Well, After analyzing the footage... Looks like there's somebody right there hugging their knees, sitting down. This is their back. They're leaning over. This is their knees. This is a head, probably a homeless person inside of an abandoned house. Who would have thought? YouTube channel you should build more houses in your city. A fourth wall believes that the woman's grandmother might have been responsible for her grandfather's death mm. and that his spirit is unable to move on. Watcher in the woods. Okay. YouTuber Creepy Outdoors frequently sets out to explore and. The one thing you gotta know about me, I'm a hater. I'm a hater. It's not just Kendrick and Drake. 
I am a hater. Anytime some of these videos come out and they're like, oh, look how scary this is. And I watch it and it's not that good. I'm going to, I'm going to say it like it is. I'm going to tell you like it is. Um, I know this sounds like I'm appealing to some like weird alt-right sect of people when I'm talking like this, but I'm not. I'm just describing to you that I'm not going to let it slide. Okay. I'm not going to let them get away with this. They're not fooling me today. I know what it's like to be in a band though. I don't know. Sorry for wasting your time. I'm going to keep going. Spend the night deep in the wilderness of Canada. On one of these trips, he sets up camp just like any other night and scouts through the woods with a flashlight and a GoPro camera. But this time, something very unexpected happens and things take a creepy turn. Never catch me camping up. What are you doing? Oh, God. How do you walk in the woods at night? Oh, f Oh, hi. What the hell? I need to get out of here. Oh boy. Oh, I mean that's creepy for sure. Okay. But like, why are you walking in the woods at night? You're kind of creepy too. I need to get out of here. The camper thinks he hears movement in the remote woods, so he cuts his flashlight so he can't be seen. But the are joke is on him. Because just then, a high-pitched voice can be heard calling out, I see you. Okay, it didn't, it didn't sound like that. I, let's, let's be 1,000% real with ourselves. It sounded like, I see you. That's what it sounded like. It didn't say, sound like, I see you. He's embellishing the story a little bit too much. It's already creepy. You don't have to embellish it more. It sounds oh, like you're yodeling. You're, yo oh, you're yodeling at this point. Now he's feeling a little on edge and wondering if there might be someone or something stalking him in the dark woods. Or what if he's walking he up private property? He decides to just quickly head back to the safety of his camp. The experienced explorer says this is the scariest sound he's ever heard in the woods. Even though he was somewhere deep in the Canadian wilderness and completely removed from any towns or cities, uh -huh. he says that he hopes that the voice belonged to just a fellow camper having a laugh. You can yeah. watch this entire video over on the YouTube channel, Creepy Outdoors. Oh, uh, that was pretty good. That's pretty good. Hmm. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Uh, I got the uh, Nukes top five going uh top 10 scary videos of wtf is that that was the name of this one we got many more lined up don't peek no peeking no peeksy weeksies um yeah thanks for watching uh it's good to be back hope you like it i uh, hope you <clears throat> hope you enjoyed more to come bye bye now mm.